Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Google Feud. Now, it's been a while since we've done this, and that is on purpose, uh, for the same reason that it's been a while since we've done shitty car mods, or any of the Reddit-related stuff, and that is I wanted to give it enough time to have new things. Um, so, we're, we're back with Google Feud, uh, shitty car mods will probably be going up today as well. Um, or I might wait another week. I haven't really decided yet. I'll probably do shitty car mods today, because I, I like that shit. But anyway, uh, we're hopping in, and we're gonna go into questions. Is it fun to be a ninja? I don't know why that was the first thing that came to mind, but there you go. Is it fun to be... A teacher? Oh wow, it's actually on there. Okay. Uh uh what's what's other jobs? Um is it fun to be a mm, baby sit sitter? No? Is it fun to be a... Is it fun to be a... Doctor. Oh, wow, it's actually on there. Okay. Is it fun to be a vet? Nope. Okay, fuck you. Cat, boy, lawyer, girl, flight... I should have gone for boy and girl. Uh, flight attendant, police officer, nurse, pet named Steve! Pet named Steve makes a return! Also, my camera fucking moved. My camera's been doing a lot of that recently. Or maybe it didn't move, but I'm pretty convinced that it did. So, stop moving, camera. It's really annoying. I don't know why you're doing it, but stop. Just, just, no. Fucking pet name Steve makes... What happens if I click these? Does it bring me to... Oh! It's actually... It actually searches it. And again, it's fucking Markiplier. Urban Dictionary, pet name Steve. Markiplier's imaginary pet from Google Feud videos. The pet name Steve has also been proven to be uncontrollable and is possibly very dangerous. I accidentally ate a pet named Steve. By Lemon Melon 24, April 21st, 2017. Well, thank you. Lemon melon. Um, so th there you go. There you go. Pet named Steve makes a makes a triumphant return. Did the camera move again? I don't know. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Just if the camera is fucking funky, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm upgrading my setup soon as far as cameras and all that go. But for right now, just kind of bear with me, cause right now it's like ghetto fabulous. But anyway, um, questions. Is it healthy to eat a dick? I don't know why, but I'm, I'm just mad today. So that was, there you go. Is it healthy to eat carrots? Is it healthy to eat ass? There you go. Raw eggs, boogers, meat, salmon every day, coconut oil, Pork, raw potatoes, once a day, snow, and liver. Is it healthy to eat pork? Yeah, so long as it's cooked and you're not eating absurd amount of... See, here's the thing with eating. So long as you're not literally eating poison, you could pretty much, or, or like anything that isn't food, 
you can pretty much eat anything. So long as it's food and it's not like poison or anything that's not food. You can pretty much eat anything. So long as it's prepared properly. For example, don't go eat raw pork. Don't, 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 don't do that. Um, and so long as it's within reason. Because any absurd amount of anything is unhealthy. Whether it's... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, oh, you shouldn't eat fucking candy because it's, it's unhealthy. But it's like, you eat one Hershey's bar. Like, if you were to eat one Hershey's bar, just, just one. Like, every day or like every other day, I guarantee it would not be unhealthy to the point that it would be potentially hazardous to your your life um so it's it's all things in moderation all of these things although some of them disgusting like that all of these things could be healthy but at the same time it's all moderation like too much of anything is a bad thing. So, so long as you're not eating too much pork or too much raw eggs. Although, I do not advise you to eat raw eggs. That's just a bad idea. Um, it's not necessarily guaranteed to hurt you, but it's, it's not. There's a reason we don't eat raw things. Uh, except for, like, sushi and all that. But there, there's a reason why you don't do that. Um... So, I, I, I wouldn't advise you to do that. But and anyway. Anyway. Also this. Eating once a day. Um, like, again. Like, people would be like, oh, well, you're supposed to eat three times a day. It's like, well, technically, so long as you're getting enough calorie intake to sustain yourself, then it doesn't really matter all that much if if you split it into three meals or just have like one meal that has a shit ton of calories and i mean you're gonna be hungry for the other two times of the day but i don't know i'm i am not a doctor i am not like uh, a pediatrician so take the things i say here with a grain of salt but not too much salt because that's bad for you <laughs> uh, full circle. We're full circle with the jokes there. Uh, there you go. Um, what if I ate weed? I knew it would be on there. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. What if I ate myself? Oh my god, it's actually on there. Okay. Um, don't do that. Just, just don't. Also, there's two ways you could look at that. Literally, and then, like, sexually. Either way, just don't. Just, no. Uh, what if I ate... What, what, what other raw meat? How is that not on there? Uh, what if I ate raw eggs? Okay, what if I ate a pet named Steve? I was about to swear if it was on there. Uh, poop, mold, raw pork. Too much salt, salad every day, a bad egg, uncooked chicken, undercooked chicken. <sighs> I should have gone for raw pork. Again, don't do that. Don't eat raw pork. That's not a good idea. You will probably get sick, go to the hospital, and you could potentially die. But, you know, that's... 
Yeah, that's that's the same with literally everything you do in life. So you know what? Do whatever the fuck you want. Just do it at your own risk, because I will not be held responsible for anybody who goes, eats raw pork, and then dies. So there you go. There you go. Another one. Can you milk a cat? Oh my god, it's actually on there. Ew. 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 Ew, that's weird. That's weird and gross. And, I mean, technically, if it's pregnant, then, yeah, technically you could, but why would you? Uh, so is dog gonna be on here? No, apparently it's only cats. <laughs> apparently it's only cats people are worried about. Can you milk a goat? Can you milk a llama? That's not how you spell llama, is it? It's it's like that, isn't it? No. Can you milk a, a man? Oh, ew. Ew, no, don't. Why? Why? Why is that on there? No. No. This this episode is going to be named Google Feud Gone Sexual and it's not even going to be clickbait. Click clickbait. Um but because that is sexual. That is that that is sexual and ew, no. Um a chicken a horse, a snake, a, a whale, a, a, a pig. Who the fuck is milking a whale? Who the fuck does that? Who, who does that? Who is in a position that they can just walk up to a whale and start grabbing it in, in places? Like, no, nobody... N no... No, just just no. Get that get that sh nasty shit out of there. Um, we'll do one more. Why am I afraid of poop? I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind. Why am I afraid of roaches? Oh, that should have been on there. Why am I afraid of rats? Why are none of those on there? The dark, dating, love, spiders, success, needles, clowns, heights, death, sex. Um. I mean, if you're afraid of the last one, it's probably because, like, I'm not even trying to joke, but if you're afraid of the last one, it's probably because you were molested as a child or something because I don't see why else you would have uh, a, f a fear of that. Um, but let's see. Death. I feel like that's a logical fear. That's actually a fear that I don't have. Um, but I feel like that's logical to have. Uh, this one, I could definitely see that. Um... Uh, I never got the whole clowns thing. I'm not. I'm not afraid of clowns. Uh, I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of spiders. Um, I used to be afraid of the dark, but I outgrew that. But I've never been afraid of clowns. I've never been afraid of spiders. I I just don't understand the those too like why every I can understand the spiders thing I can understand why people would be afraid why clowns I don't get that I, I've never understood the whole clown thing um but yeah here we go next one um fucking people my eyes look red my eyes look down my eyes look Big. I, I t dead, weird, black, yellow. If your eyes are yellow, there's something wrong. Um, I believe that might be... Isn't that related to, like, your liver or something? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a thing where if your liver is bad, then, like, your eyes and your skin turn, like, yellowish or something like that. Um... And it's pretty common with, like, alcoholics. But, 
Uh, th there we go. There we go. Uh, I don't understand why people are typing declarative statements into into Google though. That's that's weird. Tattoos are cool. Tattoos are bad. Tattoos are good. Tattoos are expensive. I hope that's spelled right. Nope. Uh, see, like, this is a declarative statement. Why are you typing it into into Google? Uh, I mean, if it had why at the front, like, why tattoos are bad. Actually, no, that would still, it would be, why are tattoos bad? That would be a question. Tattoos are for losers is not a question. That's a declarative statement, and it's also an opinion. Um, so, like, why are you typing that into Google? I I Google is for, like, questions and trying to find information. You don't type declarative statements into Google. It just why why are you doing that? I don't understand. Um fucking names. Linda Bates. I don't even know if that's a person. That's just the first thing that came to mind. Uh Linda Linda uh, it, it's a meme. That's why I... Or, it was a meme. Like, the the little kid is like, Linda, Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. Yeah, so I thought maybe... Maybe there might be some people searching for some, some dank memes. But, uh... Or some some stank memes. Because they're, they're old. See, you got your dank memes. And then you got your stank memes. Your, your dank memes are what's new and fresh. And then once they become old, then you have, like, the gray area where it's a stale meme. And then you have stank memes, which aren't good anymore. Uh, so, like, the whole John Cena thing, that's that's a stank meme. Because uh, it's not valid anymore. Um, it's past its expiration date. But, like, there, there you go. I, I studied... Uh, Memeology in college. Thank you. I am a certified memeologist. I know all the memes. No, I actually don't. I actually don't. I, I think my favorite one right now is uh, actually which which one would it even be? Cause there there's a few good ones. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see real quick. I have. I have a list of memes, and I don't know why we're doing this, but I have, like, a thing of memes. These are all things that, like, people posted over on the Discord. Uh, some of them were posted by me, but I think my favorite one, as of right now, is uh, this one, which is kind of an old one, but I, I like it. I like it. There we go. I, I like that one. I don't even know why, but that that's my favorite meme right now. That one and this one, which some of you aren't going to know what that's from. But if you do know what that's from, then, yeah, I, I like you. Let, let's just say that it's radical. There you go. That, that, was, a, that was a really bad hint. Uh, but th there you go. There you go. There's some. There's some memes. Uh, Linda. I don't know any Lindas. I know nobody by the name of Linda. Linda. Peterson. Okay. Well, I I don't know any of these. Linda Holiday sounds familiar. Do I know Linda Holiday? It sounds familiar. Um, it it sounds familiar. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. Jeremy Fitz. Fitz. J. 
Gerald? H how do you spell that? Maybe I spelled it wrong. Jeremy Smith. Fitz... Fitzgerald. Where does Jeremy Fitzgerald come from? Because I know that's a name. Stephanie... You know what? Fuck it. Go, go back. I don't want to do names anymore. No. No. Go. There we go. Culture. Miss Puff. Mrs. Uh, what? Who's the bitch from uh, Magic School Bus? Mrs. I don't remember her name. Uh, I'm just going to put F Flurby Doodles. Mrs. Dick butt. There you go. Doubtfire. Cl Mrs. Claus! God damn it, I'm a fucking idiot. Mrs. Trump. God, I, I should have been able to get some of this. The Great. The Great. What, what's the name of that fucking. Is it the Great Ga Gat Gatsby? The Great Gatsby. How do you spell that? Gat Gatsby. I probably spelled it wrong. Gat, that uh, the the great Houdini. No, I'm probably spelling these wrong. That's probably the problem. The great uh. Smoke weed every day. Uh, when 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 all else fails, just go go to go to memes. Gatsby, the great Gatsby. I spelled it wrong. God damn it. Wall of China. I'm a fucking idiot. The the Great Depression. I should have been able to get the the great. I should have been able to get those. I'm a fucking idiot. Rap is dead. Rap is bad. Rap is good. Okay. No, nobody wants to defend rap, apparently. Rap is hard to understand. No. Uh, rap is... This isn't how I feel about rap, by the way. I do like, I don't like all rap music, but there are a select few that I do like, so. And that doesn't mean, just because I don't like all of it doesn't mean that I can't respect it. There are uh, a, a few individuals in that career that I respect very much. Um, but there's also a lot of them that I feel like their their songs are just not songs. Like the fucking what's the one where he's just like fucking skilly pop doobie. Like he just fucking saying random shit that aren't even words. Like that's not rap. That's just you having a fucking stroke. Fucking cue the fucking clip of all the guys going oh. And get you a fucking burn heel, because I just... Whoever the fuck that artist is, I just burned you. You're not rapping, you're just having a fucking stroke, dude. But, uh... That being said, there are a few of them that I do like, so... This isn't reflective of how I feel about rap. This is just what I think people would be typing in. Um... Rap is... Overrated. No, uh, a man's soul. Something I do on the side. Uh, bravo, bravo. Uh, rap is like zitty, I don't, poetry. I could see poetry. Out of control. Uh, you know it's a fucking old person that is like, Ah, oh, these kids with their rap, it's out of control. 
I remember back in my day, rap meant you took a fucking Christmas present, and you put some fucking paper on it, and you wrapped it up with a nice little bow. Now they're out here talking about their drugs, and their, their guns, and their hoes, and it's out of control, I'm telling you, get off my lawn. Yeah, you know it was an old person that did that one. You know. You know it was. Uh, garbage, life, the new rock. Uh, I disagree with this one. I strongly disagree with that one. Um, however, again, I can respect that genre of music and... There are quite a few rap artists that I do respect. But there also, there's several that I don't. Uh, and that's the same with every genre, not just rap. But my, my point is, I can disagree with this statement and still like rap. So th there you go. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, next one. Next one. I'm digging myself a hole here, but here we go. Uh, cursive... It's, we already did this one. We already did that one. Give me a new one. No, don't go back here. No. Baseball is life. Anytime it's a sport and followed by the word is, just put life. And I guarantee it's on there. Baseball is boring. Baseball is entertaining. No, okay. Baseball is American. I, I spelt American wrong. I'm an American, and I spelt American wrong. American. That's how you spell American, and it's still wrong. 90 mental. What does that even mean? <laughs> Gay... Dying, a game of failure, not a sport, the hardest sport, fun, the best sport, 90 meant. I, I don't understand that one. But this is just fucking, that's not politically correct. And I'm surprised that's the second highest one, because... People don't use that word that way anymore. Um, I, I remember back when we actually used to use that word that way, where it's like, oh, if you didn't like something, it's like, oh, that's so gay. And it's like, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. It's not, it's not cool. Um, again, I'm digging myself a hole here for just people who are going to be mad at me. Because it sounds like I'm in defense of that, and I'm not. Because I have very much respect for the gay community. I'm not gay. I'm not. But I have respect for the gay community. And, you know, I, I have several friends who are gay. So, you know, you know I, I feel like if that is what you're into, then good for you. You know, but me personally, I'm I'm not into that. And using that word in that way is not really a cool thing to do anymore. Um, but, let's see. Uh, not a sport. That is not true. Baseball is very much a sport. Um, which again, I don't like baseball. I could totally agree with this statement here that it's boring but that's because I'm not a sports person um, and it's it's not like I didn't try baseball I actually played baseball for like two years and then I just couldn't take it anymore because it's like it's 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 boring um, but but saying that it's not a sport it's just straight up first of all it's disrespectful second of all it's straight up ignorance uh, because it, it's very much a sport. Like, it's, it's the pure definition of what a sport 
should be. Um, so to say it's not a sport is just disrespectful. Um, but I'm sure there's people who disagree with me on that statement. But there you go. Just digging myself a bigger hole for people to fucking hate me. But there, there you go. There you go. That's what you do on the internet. No matter what you do, there's going to be people who hate you. But that's that's okay. You know, that's that's part of the the contract you sign whenever you start doing YouTube or basically anything on the internet is there's always going to be people who don't like you. And you know what? To those people, I give them a big old one of these. You know, and I I move on with my life. So, we'll we'll do one more uh we'll do questions. What exactly is sex oh i thought for sure that would be on there i thought for sure some fucking 12 year old would be hopping on daddy's computer and typing that shit but i guess not um but here we go here we go what exactly is a democracy I knew that wouldn't be on there. I don't know why I did that. Uh, what exactly is cancer? Yes! Yes! Alright, alright. What exactly is... Uh, uh, shit, how do I spell this one? Uh, I'm going for Alzheimer's. Does it does it count as cheating if I look up how to spell it? I don't think it does. I'm going to say that it doesn't. So, I'm going to go... Wait, where did my new tab go? Where did you go? It's not showing up on my other screen. What the fuck? Seriously, that's not... No. Don't... Don't... What? Why? Hold on. There it is. Why is it not on my other screen? There we go. Th weird things are happening. I uh, don't much appreciate it. There we go. Oh, here we go. All right. And just before anyone accuses me of cheating, all I typed in, let's see, where the fuck is my tab now? It's alt. That's all I typed in because I wanted to know how to spell it. So, now that I know how to spell it, I can do it in here. What exactly is... Alt... Hold on, I want to make sure that I'm spelling this right. Heimers... Is that... Is that right that is right okay there you go if that's not on there i give up on life okay it's not on there scientology WikiLeaks, the illuminati isis autism um i should have gone for autism that would have been a good one uh figgy pudding martial law well there, there you go there you go have we done this one before I feel like we did one before that had martial law is one of the things. I feel like we've done this one before, which means we're doing one more. Do birds have sex? How is that not on there? Do, do birds lay eggs? Do, do birds pee? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the answer is no. Um, birds have a cloaca, which is which is similar to... Actually, it's not similar. It's exactly the same thing as what snakes have. Snakes have a cloaca, and there, there's a few other species that have cloacas. But, but basically, basically, or not species, but y you know what I mean. Wait, what's above species? Would it be geomes or I don't know? But anyway, um, so they don't pee. What happens is they're what would be 
their pee and their shit is kind of combined into one liquidy material and it just comes out as one thing and that's why their their poop is white um so there you go do they pee no that that's that's the answer because they have a cloaca instead of like a butthole and uh y- y- you know that they y- you get the idea you get the idea or maybe you don't but the answer is no they they do not pee there you go. The the more you know, guys. Um, do birds fly south for... There's no way this is on here. For the winter. Alright, there we go. Have teeth. That's, that's actually a pretty good one. Have ears. That's also a really good one. Do they have teeth? I'm pretty sure the answer to that is no. Do they have ears? I actually don't know the answer to that. I mean, I would assume that they do, because they have to be able to hear things. There's no way they're going around deaf. But at the same time, I've never seen ears on... uh, Maybe it's under their feathers, because they they have to have ears, right? We're actually... We're going to look this up. Do birds have ears? Yes, birds have ears. It's difficult to see the ears on most most birds because they are covered by feathers. But many birds have an excellent sense of hearing. Each of the bird's ears openings are usually just a hole behind behind and slightly below each eye. The more you know. There you go. You guys are learning things. Um, But do they have tongues? Yes. Do they get cold? I would assume so. If it's cold outside, I would assume that they get cold. Fly at night. I'm pretty sure they do. Do they sleep? I would imagine so. How else would they, like, I I don't know. Do they hibernate? I actually don't know if they hibernate or not. I, I don't think they do. Have a sense of smell. Yes, I, 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 I'm 95% sure they do. Uh, fart? Probably not, because that would tie into them having a cloaca. So I would imagine the answer to this would also be no. As well as Why do people want to know whether or not a bird pees? Like, why does it matter? I could understand wanting to know if they have ears. But why do you want to know if it pees or not? The answer is no. But still, why why do you want to know that? Anyway. That's going to end this for now. So thank all you guys for watching. And I'll see all you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.